Welcome to my school. We're here today because the Charlotte District School Board ignored us. We are in talks the talented offerings for programs in the sciences. It's a great program. Many of us graduates leave with a lot of scholarship money, totaling around $1.3 million each year. Even in university, most of our graduates rank very highly in their classes. This video is being created because the Toronto District School Board has repeatedly ignored our requests to move TOPS to one single larger location where it can grow and prosper as a community. Instead, they have proposed they will open another TOPS program somewhere else, moving only the teachers but leaving the students behind in Mark Arno. In this, it will basically ensure the death of TOPS within the next year. Look at these 11 portables. They take up playing space at a neighborhood where green space is at a premium. If TOPS is removed from Mark Arno, all these portables could be removed. If this happened, all the students could get a proper, comfortable, satisfactory education back at the school. Our cafeteria legally accommodates half of the recommended population of the school, but this does not put into account the fact that our school is almost at 140% capacity. So where do students eat? On dirty hallway floors, making the hallways even narrower for other students. This increases the overcrowded problem. And you wouldn't believe what moving between classes is like. Students, teachers, and guests of the school have called it violent and compared it to an infestation of rats. In my opinion, this is an understatement. The school's hallways are crammed full of people trying to get to class, leaving them with aggression and tardiness every single day. And then there's a horrible locker situation. It isn't uncommon to find two or three people that share one locker, because they get to class on the first day and get told, there's nothing we can do about it, there aren't enough. Back to learning for a second. We have way too few science classrooms. The science classes end up having to be taken in language classrooms, which aren't labs. Conditions are pretty disgusting. Washrooms that are supposed to be for only 1,440 students are used by 2,000 people. Course selections are very limited, and because of this, many electives are more than full. Mark Arnault's overcrowding situation is a severe safety issue. For example, a couple years ago when a student has had a seizure in one of the classrooms, the staff could not properly assist her because they couldn't get to her in time. Between five and 900 students, teachers, alumni, and parents have banded together to fight back. The TDSB plans to open a third TOPS program in 2013, while not letting any leave the program currently in Mark Garneau. If this happens, the death of TOPS is ensured, so we have to reverse and fix this. The TDSB recently released their strategic direction for 2011 to 2015. Let's see how they're currently doing this. Number one is to make every school more effective. For all the reasons listed regarding overcrowding, we know that this is not true. Number two is to build leadership within a culture of adaptability, openness, and resilience. But they haven't adapted to our needs since we started fighting for a better TOPS five years ago. And openness? Are you kidding? The TDSB has consistently held secret meetings and used biased sources when making decisions related to TOPS. They didn't consult with the TOPS teachers. They didn't consult with the TOPS students. They didn't consult with the TOPS alumni. They didn't consult with the TOPS parents. Need we go on? Isn't the TDSB here for our best interests? Shouldn't they be worried about the inequity they created by holding all these students here and not letting the program grow? Ensuring that every year, many qualified students can't get in. So I wrote to Director Spence requesting a meeting with him and a few of us students earlier this month. My first five emails didn't get a reply. After the sixth one though, his secretary wrote to me saying that he was very busy and assured me that all of the decisions were being made after talking to lots of people. What people? We the top students of Mark Arnold Collegiate request that Director Chris Spence and the TDSB administration take immediate action to the feedback that they have received in hundreds of attempts from TOPS students, parents, teachers, and alumni. Every year we're forced to turn away many very well qualified students from the program because we cannot accommodate them due to spacing issues. The Toronto District School Board has to let TOPS students and teachers who want to move, move out of this ridiculously overcrowded school. This has to happen by 2012 if we want the majority of our most qualified teachers to stay and not retire. They have stayed for one more year, year after year after year, and they cannot and will not stay if the program doesn't move for 2012. The TDSB is supposed to exist for us students, but they've ignored us. We hope that they change their minds quickly, and if they don't, that they know that we are very passionate and that we will do whatever it takes to ensure that TOPS survives the way it should.